Squeeze La Familia. We'll be back again, y'all. Look, the merch is done. Finally, finally done, y'all. So it'll be up for sale, for purchase, probably in the next two days. Um, be pay I'm, Thanks for being patient with me. Um, but forget all that. Let's jump into this. Corey Holcomb reacts to Jake Paul Tommy Fury fight. If y'all didn't see the fight, I reacted to it. I reacted to the highlights. Um, so in my opinion, it was kind of trash, the fight. Um, Fury definitely beat Jake Paul up. But let's jump into this, though. You know Corey about to have us laughing. Follow the new gram, y'all. Squeeze La Familia. Send a request there. Y'all can send it to my DM, too. Dollar Sign Sauce. All under in the description and in the comments. Go do that. Yeah, why you say like that? Interview afterwards, so I was impressed by that. Well, shit. <laughs> uh, didn't think I'd ever have to make one of these videos, but shit happens, I guess. Oh, he thought he was about to go undefeated forever. I didn't see the press. I didn't see the after interview. Still the best job in the world. Thank you all for the support. This was an amazing event, and I'll be back. No worries, cuz. Because I thought he was gonna be a lot more cocky, but he was. To, that you can't fight, you wanna blame it on the goat Drake. Get your ass out of here, man. Drake, do yo listen. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, and you can ask anybody that fuck with me. I always be like, yo, who Drake better with? And then if they say Drake took them, I take the opposite. And I always win, except for the Super Bowl. Everything else, go whatever with Drake pick. Go to the opposite. You gonna win. <laughs> Drake got the curse. Man. Jake Gay. I just saw an interview where some girl was like, he, he was, I guess Jake was nailing both of them, and he shoved his thumb up one of their ass and put it in their mouth, and the other girl mouth. Word. Some, some weird shit. <laughs> 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 what's I know he's got a boyfriend. I can't watch his face no more. Exactly. It came out of it's my time. choice, alright? <laughs> <laughs> I am impressed, though. Craig, I am Man, Javante Davis was upset. Like y'all giving this clown recognition. Like you feel me? Niggas ain't had. Niggas don't like that because people feel like he just started boxing and yo know, niggas grew up doing that. Like since they was kids, like going through all of that training and all that shit. This nigga just started doing this shit as a hobby, and y'all looking up to him like he a gold or something. You heard what he said. He said. Yeah, I can't believe I'll be making one of these videos. Nigga, I knew it was a matter of time. I just want to see, I wanted to see him get knocked out for real. I really wanted to see somebody knock him out. <laughs> really getting into the... Way he did Nate Robinson. Shit, shit had me tell you how he did Nate Robinson. Still mad about that shit. Phone him grave. No sport of it. In other words, he's not disrespecting and saying it ain't no, shit. No, he's fine. They say, yeah, he's respecting it, so. He trained for years, man. 
much before he started doing this. That's what a lot of people don't know. I used to see him in the gym like seven, eight years ago training. So you could watch him fight? I mean, I didn't know he had a boyfriend. I didn't oh, know. Oh, stop. That's not going to stop. But he could actually fight. What so you yeah. say, Dave? You say it's not going to stop a guy? That's not going to stop. You think so? Maybe you. Yeah, you got to make him a good fight. Nigga said if he body, that might make him a good fighter. Cause he's strong enough to take that. He could take some punches. If he could take that other shit, he could take some punches. And that's facts. But nah, I need y'all opinion on this. Are y'all watching a gay boxer? If you know a boxer's gay, are you gonna watch him box still? And yeah, well, boxers, I know they tight. They like, damn, bro, why y'all gotta put me up against this nigga? He keep grabbing me. <laughs> it's not wrestling. That's why Jake was grabbing him the whole fight now. It's starting to make sense. That nigga take pain. Look at this. I mean, get this. Hey, he might be able to get you a fight with Earthquake, nigga. <laughs> Niggas, I beat the brakes off Earthquake, niggas. Don't play with me, niggas. Beat the brakes off that nigga. Old niggas be having me dead. Now, I'm definitely taking Corey versus versus um Skittlehead right here. A little Skittlehead, Eminem head. That <laughs> nigga got the Eminem head. I'm not the right one. Bigelow. <laughs> that shit is not country, girl. That's just wrestling. Bam Bam Bigelow do sound well country, though, when you was here now. But like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Listen, squeeze my familiar. The merch is here, y'all. Just, you know, I hope I see everybody rocking this, man, worldwide. That's my vision with it. But um, like, comment, subscribe. And, you know, I, I rock with everybody that's still rocking with the channel. You know, we got two strikes from um, Say Cheese. Feel me? They try, to, they, try to, they try to knock the page down on some weird shit. Like, I don't understand it. But shout out to everybody still rocking with the page. And shit, it's only going to get better. We don't need Charleston. We don't need none of that shit. We have a million other things to react to. So, you know, lead them. Um, follow me on the gram at Squeeze Life Familia or at Dollar Sign Sauce. Send them requesting, man. Y'all know I got to do that 24. It's March. I got to give y'all that 24 every hour on the hour. Squeeze.